It's been a week since the finale of Hybe Labels' latest survival show, Are You Next? And the discussion about the final episode seems to be never-ending. So what really went down during the show? And why was the debut lineup so hated? Let's find out! Hybe Labels introduced their first ever survival show in 2020 called Island that created the leading 4th gen boy group in Hypen. The moment they released the teaser was the time when everyone realized how big it was going to be. First and foremost, they literally created an architectural masterpiece in an empty space to build the training ground for the participants. And more than that, the concept, the production, and the mentors were all top tier. And three years later, we got Are You Next, which seemed to be a lot different from Island. Aside from it being a girl group project, the overall quality of the show seemed to have declined. Of course, the girls are all lovely and worthy to root for, but people can't help but point out some problematic issues since the first episode. The high number of underage trainees, the heavily auto-tuned performances, and the crappy editing. Not only that, but we also got to see more underlying problems as the show went on. It is apparent that the K-pop industry has some kind of love-hate relationship with survival shows. Everyone hates how the trainees were put in extremely stressful situations, being evilly edited and pressured to do their best so as not to be put on the brink of elimination every single week. But still, fans can't stop watching it and root for their faves. They love seeing how these trainees grow and improve their skills until they're ready for debut. As everyone is invested and grow a certain bond with the contestant, viewers can't sit back and accept the results if they see even a tiny bit of unfairness or mistreatment. Are You Next is no different. From the first episode, people can already tell that the show was starting to reveal their favorites. The first controversial point where favoritism could appear, like any other survival show, is the unfair screen time. The first round, called Tryout, 22 girls were divided into 7 units with 3 or 4 members each team. And here, we get to know some trainees more closely. There's Chung Eun, called the 10 million actress after starring in the movie Extreme Job, together with her real dad, actor Ryu Song Ryong. There's also Ruka, who was in the debut lineup of Le Seraphim, and others like Minju, a former YG trainee, Iroha, a dance prodigy, Yongso, the ex-trainee from Odor, who could have debuted with New Jeans. Each trainee being introduced with a strong background behind their name and given extra screen time. But despite that, it is still vague if these highlighted trainees were being pushed for the final lineup. Another controversial point where favoritism appeared, which is the heavy influence of the judges slash coaches to a trainee's ranking. The regular ones were Park Yuri, Lee Hyun, Jo Kwon, Kim Jae Hwan, Aiki, Vincenzo, and Mandu. Seeing this lineup, it's quite impressive having judges from different fields in the entertainment industry. But how did their judgment affect the fate of the trainees? Unlike other survival shows, Are You Next seemed to give more space and relevance to the judges' opinions. Aside from giving comments, they have the ability to control the competition with scores too. It looks like Hybe gave them too much power on the show. The first elimination that raised the question was that of Ruka. She didn't lack viewers or fan support since she got 317 over 500 points from votes. But what pulled her scores down was the low scores, the judges, plus the live audience. Is it favoritism or just lack of stage presence? One viewer left a comment. She's not a dozen. She's talented. However, she does have issues with stage presence and it makes her disappear on stage. But the elimination that shocked the viewers more than ever were those of Jihyun and Chanel in episode 9. Literally one episode before the finale. Being part of the dance and vocal line in the tryout round respectively gave them so much advantage in the competition. But what actually happened? Chanel, especially, has been dubbed a fan favorite since the start of the show. She may not have the biggest domestic support, but her international following shouldn't be taken lightly. In terms of performance, she got the highest scores overall in the deathmatch and heal choreo missions, and scored fairly at the top of the rest of the missions. But in episode 9, after the 11 performance, she received quite an unusual set of comments from the judges, where she got feedback such as being, off key or out of breath when singing. In the end, she got the lowest score from the judges. Despite huge fan support, she still got eliminated. With these occurrences, viewers start to think that maybe all this time, Haib is trying to control the show using the judges to create their desired debut lineup. One fan said, I'ma be honest, it's very obvious that this show is being set up to favor certain trainees. You may not have liked Chanel, but she was genuinely one of the most talented on that show. 
Her vocals were no joke. Because of the constant cry for the mistreatment of the talented trainees, somehow the attention shifted to the trainee who isn't as talented, but still got the benefits of receiving compliments and extra attention. To anyone who watched Are You Next, you all know who I'm talking about. And it's none other than Woni. Woni is kind of like an anomaly at the beginning of the show. You don't know if she's being evil edited or given advantage with the extra screen time. But one thing's for sure, she charmed a lot of viewers at first sight. Mostly the Korean audience and the judges, at least. Here's what a fan has to say about Woni's first appearance in the show. I agree with the judges that Woni is somehow mesmerizing. She feels like an authentic, unpolished teenage girl and I think that's a real charm point. Yes, she's charming and all, but the catch is, she's underaged and has only been a trainee for one week and a day before she joined Are You Next. So skills and talent-wise, people shouldn't expect much from her. And this is where the problem became apparent. We have a trainee that is loved by the domestic audience, but is not as ready to debut compared to the other trainees. And more than that, she has been in the top 6 since the first ranking. This created a ripple among the fans of the show. Netizens have mixed reactions regarding Moni's position in the show. Does she deserve to debut or not? There was only six spots for the debut lineup, and the show is stacked with beautiful and extremely talented girls. How would you decide who's the most deserving among them? This is probably the reason why international fans came up with the big six, consisting of members Jiwoo, Chanel, Yuna, Minju, Jimin, and Yongso. Big Six is definitely iFans' pick. Aside from not having an underage member, they are all a complete package and ready to debut which is a lot different from the pulse of the Korean audiences. Time and time again, the domestic audience is a sucker for cute and bright concepts, while the iFans lean more on the mature or girl crush concepts. This is not an absolute fact, but the distinction is quite obvious during the voting period. And unfortunately for iFans, the Korean votes weigh more than the global votes, with a 30-70 percentage ratio. There were already issues with the voting system, yet HYBE took it to a whole new level when it announced a new set of rules to choose the top 6. Only the top 2 voted trainees will be counted for the debut lineup, and the remaining 4 will be chosen by the judges. This was when all hell breaks loose. Clearly, everyone who is watching the show is in disbelief. From the beginning, the votes from the audiences took a huge part of the rankings, and they expect that to happen until the end like normal survival shows do. If in the end, it was decided that the judges will choose more than half of the debut lineup, then why did they even set up a survival show? Basically, they are saying that the label will be the one to choose whom they want to debut in the end. What difference does it make if they set up a survival show or not? This type of frustration is heavily echoed by the fans and viewers as they called it manipulation or rigging. One of them left a comment saying, Hive wasn't so clear that they had the final say, which misled fans and causes outrage when everyone finds out that their votes didn't mean anything at all. And putting global votes at only 30% is only going to alienate their international fan base. There's also one who said that it's a legal rigging. She explained it saying, In conclusion, Hyde manipulated it in such a way that they cannot go to prison because they technically did nothing wrong. And this is not just online, but apparently there's also negative reactions on the venue. Some Korean fans didn't like how things ended and booed right then and there. The rage is understandable though, because if you look at the top 10, the judges snubbed Jimin and Jonghyun, even though they were two of the best players in the competition. At some point, they even got high scores in the missions, so leaving them out even though they ranked high with votes can be disheartening. Not just for the fans who voted, but also for Jimin and Jonghyun themselves. Sadly, there's not much everyone can do as the top 6 has already been decided, and they will debut under the name Islet which is probably another topic for discussion. Because the rumored name, Ruby Moon, is much better than the hard to pronounce names that survival shows come up with these days, honestly. <laughs> Nevertheless, the only thing left to do is wait for the official debut and support the members Wonhee, Yongso, Minju, Iroha, Moka, and Yuna as much as you carried them throughout the show. So, what do you guys think of the final lineup of Are You Next? Did your bet get in? Let us know in the comment section. Until next time!